Hello everybody and welcome to another mystery box function challenge. In the purple box there is some mystery math and your challenge is to figure out what that is. You can use the link in the description to try this out and when you've got an idea come on back and see if we get the same thing. Okay, let's try a zero. Ah, so a big clue already. Zero is giving me this infinity error and usually what that means is that we have uh, some kind of rational function. I don't know that it's 1 over x, but uh, I'll just make a note of that to remind myself that we're thinking rationally here. So let's put in a 1. <coughs> 1 gives us 10. Okay, that's pretty high up on the graph. How about the 2? <coughs> now we're down at 2.5. And you can start to see the shape of that arm curve that you would expect from a rational function. Let's try a, a 4. And we're at 0.625. So this looks a little different from just your plain old 1 over x. Let's put in some negative values and see what we should get if it's a, a rational function. A simple rational function is an arm similar to that on the in the third quadrant there. So let's put in a negative 1. Oh. So it's not, it's in the second quadrant. Let's see if it, it continues to mirror that. Uh, negative 2 gives us 2.5, and negative 4 should give us 0.625. Okay, so what we've got are these two arms in the first and the second quadrants. When you see that shape, it's 1 over x squared, usually. Although, I don't think we have 1 over x squared, because if I put in a 1... 1 over 1 squared should equal 1, and it doesn't. It equals 10. Um, and, and actually, that's probably a good place to make a guess. Uh, if you put in 1 for x squared, how would you get 10 out of that? Well, you'd have to have a 10 up here. So 10 over 1 squared would be 10. Does that work with the other uh, uh, numbers, though? Let's put in a, a, a 2 down here. So 10 over 2 squared would be 10 over 4. Ah, and that is... 2.5, and you'd get the same thing for a negative 2 because the negative 2 would also become a positive 4 when you square it. So, yeah, I think we, we stumbled onto that pretty quickly, um, and I'm pretty confident that's what we've got here. So let's go ahead and uh, take a look. Yeah, 10 over x squared, and we can graph that. Yep, there are those two arms of the, the 1 over x squared in the first and the second quadrant, and um, they're just uh, uh, shooting up a little faster um, uh, because of that 10 on the top. Well, how did that go? Did you uh, know that there was an x squared on the bottom of this one? Let me know. Thanks, everybody.